Hi, I'm Dad the Engineer. Today I'm going to tell you how to protect your Starlink setup from lightning strikes. Before I get to that, I'm going to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It would help me a lot and I greatly appreciate the gesture. I never expected to produce as much Starlink content as I have, but I'll continue to make videos as long as I receive good questions, like the one that led to this presentation. While it's not the first satellite-based internet connectivity option, SpaceX's Starlink does represent the current best-of-breed solution of its type. It offers an easy setup experience, excellent performance, both in terms of bandwidth and latency, and it's available everywhere in the United States. This last part is especially important as rural parts of the country have special challenges when it comes to receiving high-speed internet connectivity. But that's the obvious problem with getting internet connectivity in the middle of nowhere. What's a problem that's less obvious? Lightning. While Starlink has revolutionized internet access, it typically has exposed equipment installed on rooftops or poles, which are especially susceptible to lightning-related hazards. Satellite dishes are not new to these environments, but there's a special twist due to Starlink's constellation. Dishes for old geostationary satellites could be at ground level, only requiring line of sight to a particular azimuth and elevation. Starlink, on the other hand, needs a more expansive view of the sky. This often results in the Starlink dish being mounted higher than older equipment. As you probably know, the higher you mount the dish, the more of a target it becomes for lightning strikes. The Starlink dish, router, and associated wiring are all electronic components that can suffer catastrophic damage from a direct lightning strike or the surge of electricity caused by one. Even indirect strikes can create power surges that flow through electrical lines and damage connected devices. So what can you do? You should never overlook the importance of proper grounding. Without effective grounding, the risk of equipment damage from electrical surges increases significantly. While it does not provide complete protection, it's a good idea to ground the dish's mast, providing a specific and safe route for electricity to go to ground. This won't necessarily preserve your dish, but it may save the router and possibly a lot of equipment in your house. This grounding system typically consists of a grounding rod driven deep into the soil connected to your Starlink mount using heavy gauge copper wire. You should install high quality surge protectors on all power and ethernet lines connected to your Starlink equipment. Choose surge protectors rated for outdoor use if they will be exposed to the elements. A lightning arrestor is a device designed to protect electronic equipment by diverting high voltage spikes caused by lightning strikes. These can be installed in line with your Starlink cable to offer an additional layer of protection. For added safety, consider installing a whole house surge protector at your main electrical panel. This device can protect not only your Starlink system but other electronic appliances in your home from power surges. While elevation is the easiest way to get a less obstructed view of the sky, try to avoid installing the Starlink dish on the highest point of your property. If possible, place it near taller structures or trees without obstructing the line of sight to reduce the likelihood of it being the primary lightning target. In general, I'm in favor of installing lightning rods or early streamer emission air terminals, even if I wasn't discussing Starlink. These devices install on building structures. They then attract lightning that would otherwise strike very close by, providing a ground to cloud or cloud to ground route that doesn't include your house and the equipment in it in its path. Lightning can pose a serious threat to Starlink users, particularly in rural areas where installations are often exposed. However, by implementing a combination of grounding, surge protection, and proactive practices, you can significantly reduce the risk of damage to your equipment and maintain uninterrupted internet service. Investing in these protective measures not only safeguards your Starlink system, but also provides peace of mind during stormy weather. If you found this video to be helpful and would like to see more like it, please like and subscribe. I'm just getting this thing started and I could really use your help. If you would like to contribute some feedback, please engage with me in the comments below. If you want to reach me privately, you can contact me through Instagram or email. If, like me, you're a little old school, please check out my website linked in my bio. Thanks and have an awesome day.